What's up guys, welcome back. Today we'll be installing a hydraulic handbrake into the GC8 behind me. Stay tuned. So this is everything that you need aside from the brake lines. Starting off with the handle, this is a legit STI handle straight from Japan and it uh, has this little locking mechanism which uh, allows you to put the car in uh, park if you need to. But uh, it comes in left-hand drive and right-hand drive. Mine's obviously a left-hand drive uh, and it comes with all this hardware which is very useful, especially this little bracket. Uh, that's to attach the other side of the master cylinder. And uh, this thing does not come with the kit, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but uh, there are two versions that work pretty well. There's this one from AP Racing and the legit STI one. Uh, they're exactly the same aside from the writing, but same dimensions, same bore, same everything. Uh, but the AP Racing is a little bit cheaper, so that's why I went with it. So the first step is obviously to remove all the trims. I've already done that a while ago, but uh, also remove anything that could get in the way, like uh, the passenger seats, uh, and maybe some wires or stuff that could be uh, in the middle section over there. So I've done that, now it's all ready to go and we can move on to the second step. So for the second step, you wanna jump in the car and make sure that you're in a comfortable driving position because we need to figure out the perfect handbrake positioning for you based on your size, your driving style and your seat positioning. So the way I'm doing it, and this will be different for everybody, but the way I like to do it is place my handbrake on the transmission tunnel and kind of feeling where is too far, where is too close and um, finding a right balance between the two. And obviously I'm trying to line up the holes that are on the handbrake to those on the transmission tunnel for the shifter so that I don't have to drill any new holes uh, and this will prevent some leaks later on. So this is what I'm doing and I'll be back for step three once I have my right positioning. All right, all right, all right. So this is my preferred handle position. Uh, I'm using the bolt closest to me, but you can use the other one as well. Uh, either way works, but you have to drill a new hole anyways, so that doesn't really matter. What matters is uh, this bracket down here. It is easier to use the bolt uh, furthest away, but for me that was just too far and uh, I'm going to try and make it work like this. So as you can tell, there isn't a lot of room and I'm actually having a big in interference with this module. So I might have to move it, I don't know yet, uh, until I put a bolt through the, the bracket. I can't tell if it will fit or not. But um, yeah, otherwise, position is ideal. I have a little bit of room between the two handles, uh, just enough so that uh, I won't hit anything with my hands, but uh, it's really close so I can switch from one to the other super quickly and uh, they're about the same level, same height. Uh, so that's perfect. So now we can move on to the next step, which is drilling those holes and putting bolts through them. So just a quick note on the locking mechanism, which I was talking about earlier. It's this black button by my thumb. Uh, when I don't use it, the handle works freely back and forth. When I do press it and pull back, you hear this click and it locks the handle in place, basically locking your rear brakes. So that way you can park the car. And if you press on it again, you hear another click and that releases the brakes. So all the bolts are in, everything is tight. It feels super solid and it moves the way it's supposed to. So that's a great sign. Uh, and now we can move on to the next step, which is to rebuild the interior um, and making sure that there is no interference between the master cylinder, the handbrake and uh, the rest of the trims.
The bottom piece fits pretty good now, but the top one doesn't, so I need to do the same thing and cut this area until everything fits. Alright, the top piece is done and the handbrake moves perfectly. Now the issue I'm still having is with these DCCD controllers. Um, they're actually too long and they hit the massive cylinder um, underneath. So what I need to do is basically build a new uh, center piece here which will house uh, these controls just a little bit higher um, so that I don't have any interference. Probably do the same technique as I did on the door cards. So just kind of... Uh, fiberglass and body filler and uh, then carbon skinning. But that will be for a different video. For now, I'm super happy with how everything turned out, the fitment, uh, how it's functional. The last thing to do is uh, plumbing this thing. And uh, I'm actually going to cut my brake lines around here and run some stainless steel braided lines all the way to the master cylinder. Uh, just really easy and I'll probably just order them uh, online so I don't have to do them myself. But uh, yeah, that will be for final assembly sometime in the future. And that's a wrap on how to install a hydraulic handbrake into your car. If you find these videos helpful, if you like them, please smash that like button, subscribe to see more. If you want to see more of this build, check out the rest of the videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.